What's up guys, Dirk here from Intelligent Cryptocurrency. Bitcoin just smashed through the 20K level, so I just wanted to do an update as this is happening, share my thoughts on it, because literally two days ago, I made a video saying, hey, we're probably gonna break 20K in December, and lo and behold, it finally happened. So this is super awesome, it's in record territory. It's never been this high before, ever, right? We're literally the highest levels in the history of Bitcoin and that deserves a video. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Dirk. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing below. Click that notification bell if you want to continue to get updates when I publish no BS crypto content, usually two to three videos a week. Now let's dive straight into the chart. So as you can see, as I'm making this, Bitcoin is straight at the $20,700 level, right? It was struggling with that 20K big psychological barrier, obviously new new record highs but i think there were a lot of people that were shorting this and that had their stops like set just above the 20k level right it was a bet like either it's going to drop it's going to get rejected and you're going to be able to profit if it was going to drop to 16 15 14 12k right that would have been nice um small small risk just putting that stop above 20k if it smashes through well then it's probably going to smash through a lot higher and i think that's what happened you know a lot of stops got run so these shorters this big short squeeze 20k um straight to 20,700 and massive 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 pump so this is really cool to see um i guess uh it was just highly likely that's why i've why i've been making the videos on it over the last few weeks because of all this institutional buying pressure. And if this is really true, which I think it is, you know, these hundreds of millions of dollars of Bitcoin being bought up, there's simply just no dips. Because if this is the start of institutional FOMO with real companies who have tens or hundreds of millions of dollars that they are able to put into Bitcoin, the scarcity factor in Bitcoin is gonna play a huge role because there's simply not enough Bitcoin available. And there's not enough sellers of Bitcoin too, right? A lot of the Bitcoin that people are holding, they're holding onto it for the long term. So they're not selling it. It's off the market. Um, additionally, you know, there's still more, more than a million Bitcoin that will be mined over the coming hundred years. That's not available. There's also allegedly like three, four, five million Bitcoin that are just kind of in limbo because people have lost their private keys or their access to them or whatever the case is. You know, Satoshi allegedly has this million Bitcoin in in his, her or their wallet. And yeah, like I said, I mean, if, if companies are buying up tens or hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, there's just not enough to go around. So any dip is just being bought up and that's what we've been seeing. That's why we didn't drop below the 16 and a half thousand and now we're trading above 20,000. The question is, where do we go from here, right? So let's look at a few things. Firstly, on the hourly time frame, the short time frame, this is looking incredibly overbought. You can see over here when this happens on the short term, usually we'll see some sort of a retrace. Okay, so unless this gets pushed up um, much higher, uh, I think it's safe to say we'll retrace a couple hundred dollars. Would be really nice if we can actually flip that 20k and 20k now becomes support so if we pull back you know that we stay above this 20k level and then continue higher okay so if we go to the bigger time frames you always want to look on multiple time frames so you can see over here this is the daily chart and obviously a big big push over here but what we're seeing is a negative divergence with the rsi so that's never something you really want to see of course it could go through right it doesn't mean the divergence is 100 percent and it is formed but keep in mind the price action here is higher but the rsi is lower which could always pose a risk to you know this might actually end up reversing or pulling back which i say is to to be expected i think um it would just be really nice if we can flip that 20k and hold it as support because that would be really really strong there's a lot of people who have been waiting for this i think as a sign or a validation that bitcoin is indeed going to continue much higher right as long as it went to the all-time high and and stayed below that 20k there was always a risk of hey it, it hit that and now it's going back down again but now we clearly definitively broke it we're at record levels and I think this is just a sign for people that, you know, this is starting to get interesting. This is the real thing in, and, and we're moving on to another phase of the bull cycle where, you know, uh, it's, it's not just um, disbelief. We're moving into 
belief or optimism, I think, in my opinion. So um, that's that. I mean, if we, we zoom out to the weekly, right? Clear break above the previous all-time high. And let's just see if we get my chart back out here. Do we have that one? Here we go. So this is the chart that I I mentioned um, a few videos. I think uh, I, I don't have the exact video in front of me. You can go and check my older videos. But I think I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks where I said the possibility is that we run up to this 24K target, which would be an extension, this parallel channel somewhere there. Obviously, there's also 28K, which a few people have been calling for. Tom Lee from Fundstrat. Uh, Max Kaiser has a 28K target. Bob Lucas, also a very good analyst on YouTube, he says he's looking to start uh, taking out his initial capital from his Bitcoin position at around 28K. So I do indeed think it is possible we are going to head somewhere to the mid 20,000s. Not financial advice, of course, purely my opinion, but um, I think that is a possibility. And one of the things that I also said on the monthly chart, and I pointed this out, I think about a month ago, is that we tend to have these three green candles. Um, well, tend to have it. We, we've had it three times, or two, two times, should I say. So in 2017, we had three massive monthly candles. Here in 2019, we had three big candles to mark the blow off of the phase. So one, two, and I think we're gonna get a third monthly candle, which means, given that it is the 16th of December right now, it is completely possible that we see a giant green candle this month and we hit 23, 24,000 before the end of the year, before the end of the month, which is in the next two weeks. I think it is possible. So I'd really like to see this 20,000 hold. Hopefully, you know, uh, we are gonna see that. So we might get a bit of a pullback, a couple hundred dollars. If 20K can hold as a support, I think that's very, very positive. And I think we start hitting that 24, 23, 24,000. Maybe in an extreme situation, we spike up and we hit 25, 26, 27, 28,000. Um, it is possible if that were to be some sort of a blow off. But I think on the flip side of that, if that happens, I think after that happens, we are going to see a, a bit of an extended pullback and correction. Like I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin goes 24 to 28K, if it pulls back down to 18, 17,000 after that. But then we start to see altcoins really, really move just like we did back in 2017 and remember today like as i'm making this it's the 16th of december we're not even 24 hours out to the 17th which means that it's three years on the dot that bitcoin hit the all-time high and it peaked on december 17th 2017 so it's literally three years on the dot that we smashed this 20k from the previous all-time high so what also happened is that after Bitcoin peaked on December 17, 2017, we had that massive, massive alt season, which led to crazy, crazy multiples in a period of three to four weeks. You know, after Bitcoin peaked, that's when the altcoins started booming. And we can see that in the Bitcoin dominance. That was, let me go into a weekly chart over here. We can see that was right over here. So basically, Bitcoin dominance peaked early mid-December and this run was that crazy altcoin run where everything went insane, um, 10, 20, 30, 40x in a matter of, of a few weeks. So I do think there is a possibility that we could see something like that again, but I do think that Bitcoin needs to finish its run first. And I think that might mean, you know, we might see the mid 20, 20 thousands, 22 to 28K. And once it's exhausted, once it's done, I think we get a pull back in Bitcoin, and I think we start to see the altcoins pump. So again, this is not financial advice. This is purely my opinion on how I see the charts and based on you know what I've seen happen with, with Bitcoin and crypto over the past three years and how it behaved in, in 2017 in the bull market and stuff like that. So um, you know, if you are holding altcoins, I think altcoins are going to be really, really profitable. I still really believe that. It's just a matter of patience. It could still take a few weeks, but I think we're getting closer. We broke that 20K. Now let it do its thing, however high that's going to go, you know, whether it turns around here at 21K or it goes higher. I do think it actually will go higher. I'm still looking for it to hit that 24K target. Um, and then we'll see once that reverses, then I think altcoins are going to start to pump. And I think once altcoins um, pump, you know, 
couple hundred percent. And we're talking also about the 2017 alts. We're talking about Ethereum, talking about Ripple. We're talking about, you know, Neo, OMG. Once those coins start to move up a couple hundred percent, which I think is completely possible and which will probably happen, once that happens, then I think we're going to start to see more retail interest. Right now, it's still institutional interest. They're buying a Bitcoin. Once Bitcoin goes enough, there's going to be money that floods into altcoins. Altcoins pump. And then at some point, once that's all like has been pumping for a couple weeks and it just goes higher and higher and higher, that's when I think we start to see more general retail interest, which floods even more money into the space. And then we go into the thrill and the euphoria phase of the cycle, you know, and this could take a period of maybe six to 12 months, right? So um, I'm not saying it's going to happen in the next week or so, but this cycle could very well play out. We're right on track, you know, after the halving cycle to this playing out once again. And hopefully the next six to 12 months are going to be insanely profitable for all of us holding crypto. If you're watching this, you know, you are still early. You are aware of what's happening and you have the chance to position yourself. You've had three years of bear market. So hopefully, you know, really looking forward to this being a very, very profitable six to 12 months for all of us. And uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I will make another video hopefully tomorrow. And I want to still cover Ripple as a project and um, the pros and cons of it. So I got all the research prepared. I just need to film it, edit it and upload it. But since Bitcoin was, <laughs> you know, it smashed through this 20K, I thought I had to make this video and at least just give this update first. So Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell. Smash the like button. Destroy it. Absolutely smash it. Leave a comment below. What do you think is going to happen? What is Bitcoin going to hit? You know, are we going to see 24, 28K? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.